As usual, I was in Subway getting a tuna sub. Then the worker asked me, want some extra mayo? Mayo? Mayo, mayo. See, me and mayonnaise have always had a tight relationship. Back in elementary school, I was crazy for it. I would wake up and my grandma would ask me what I want for breakfast. How would I respond? Mayonnaise sandwich, which consisted of a slice of toast with mayonnaise on it, conjoined with another slice of toast with mayonnaise on it. I took it to school multiple times. Hey, what you got there? Oh, uh, a mayonnaise sandwich. You want to trade? Daryl brought fish sticks. I'm not hungry anymore. I'll trade with you. It was Matthew. Matthew, you want some of my mayonnaise sandwich? Yeah, I'll trade it for my mayonnaise burger. It's just a plain burger with mayonnaise on it. Deal. And so that was that. We were both mayonnaise connoisseurs in a world full of mayonnaise-hating savages. I would often bring mayonnaise-filled lunch to school to the dismay of my class, but they just tasted so good. I couldn't explain it. I guess the taste of pure fat just riled me up. Then, one day after school, my parents brought me to Wendy's. I never had a Wendy's before, so I went for a chicken sandwich with extra mayo packets, obviously. I then took a sip of the mayo, expecting bliss, but instead I threw up all over the food court floor. It was the most revolting thing I've ever had. It was so nasty, I decided to just quit mayonnaise, cold turkey. The next day, I brought chicken nuggets to school, which I usually used to eat with mayonnaise. Matthew came up to me, expecting to smell the same raw neck smell he's used to. Then I came clean. Sorry, man, but I put ketchup on nuggets. Well, what? How could you do this to me? You were the chosen one. No. Uh, no, I don't want mayonnaise. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>